Okay, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the show this fine morning. It is fairly windy this fine morning, but uh, I have decided that I'm gonna go for that little walk that uh, on that sidewalk that I showed you guys yesterday. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> oh, this is uh, gonna show me a little dark here, but the sun is coming from over there, so it's uh, trying to adjust for the sun, I guess. Let me try this angle. Maybe this angle will work better. Yeah, that seems to be better. I know I kind of have to look a little bit on an angle then. I like to be straight with the camera, but uh, the sun is coming from behind me, so you can't really see me then if, uh, if that's the case. But anyways, what I have decided is to go for a nice little walk here this morning on that nice sidewalk that I showed you guys yesterday. And the reason being is, uh, <clears throat> I suspect, <clears throat> excuse me, I suspect that uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be getting that olive branch load, right? Out of, Miss, uh, out of Mississippi. And if that's the case, then uh, I'll be there tonight, right? And uh, they got like a security gate there and all that stuff. And uh, I have a feeling that I wouldn't really be going for a walk over there. So I figured I'll get it in this morning. And uh, that way I got it, got a little bit of walking in at least. And so get our day started. Plus the other thing is, I don't really want to start too early with my vlog because uh, if I start too early, I mean with my driving, I said vlog. What I meant to say is I don't really want to start too early with my shift here because that load is usually only ready at like 10 or 11 at night. So I got to make sure that I have enough on my 14 to get there and uh, get the load. Now I know I've stayed there twice already overnight, but uh, this last week, my cousin was over there and he was during the week just like i would be now and apparently they kicked him out of there so at one o'clock in the morning so that kind of sucks so i hope that doesn't happen to me if they send me there tonight i don't know what the deal was with that uh, i've stayed there twice already overnight i asked the shipping guy and no problem even our company told us that yeah he can stay there for the night right but uh Anyways, my cousin got kicked out, and uh, so I'm kind of worried about that a little bit. I'm kind of going to see how this mic is going to perform. You guys see that right there? That's my wireless mic, right? It's got a little bit of a dead cat on it, and uh, yeah, it is, it is fairly windy today. So anyways, let me go for a nice little walk. I figured I'd take you guys with me anyways. And then uh, we'll get our day started. We'll get going here in a little bit. I just figured I would wait a little bit. Maybe dispatch will say something like, yeah, you don't uh, have to worry about getting the olive branch load tonight or something, right? But uh, anyways, let me get a good workout here this morning. And then I can sit in the driver's seat and relax a little bit, right? Coming to the end of the sidewalk again. Oh man. It was definitely more difficult today to walk this stretch than it was yesterday because I got to walk against the wind and with a big massive body like mine it's kind of hard to walk against the wind <laughs> but uh, anyways we're we made it again to the end of the sidewalk so that's awesome so I've got me a, a good little walk in for the morning so far now I gotta walk all the way back, but that should probably be a little bit easier because uh, I'm gonna be walking with the wind, right? But I'm trying to walk as fast as I possibly can. I know uh, we would really like to be jogging, but uh, as of right now, I'm not in that great of a shape yet to do too much jogging just yet. So anyways, let's walk back to the truck and uh, get our day started driving truck. All right, guys, I made it back to the truck. 
that was definitely a lot of fun. I know first thing this morning, I really didn't feel like uh, going out there for a walk either. But after I did it, I feel great. I got me a good sweat and I had to go in and use the bathroom right away. But uh, otherwise I would have shown you guys my sweat. But uh, anyways, I really, really hope that uh, this can actually inspire one of you guys out there and uh, get you guys uh, or at least one or two of you guys you know to join me on uh, losing weight and I'm not just going for walks I'm also uh, cutting down on my food intake as well so that is a big part of it as well I really do want to try and lose a few pounds because uh, when I looked at that number yesterday it's like I got to do something about that so anyways we are getting ready to hit the road here and uh, I hope you will, uh, you know, come and ride with me. So let's do it. I've spent enough time in here, guys, that it is now time to leave. And I did this on purpose. Like I told you guys in the previous clip there, I, uh, I didn't really want to leave too early in the morning, right? Because of uh, my suspecting of... Uh, getting that reload out of all of Branch, Mississippi, feet, right? Left on South Dramatch Road, and, then. and that's the reason why I didn't want to leave too super early. Because, uh, you know, I usually have to pick that load up at 10 or 11 at night, right? So if I start too early in the morning, I'll be out of my 14 hours. I will not be allowed to be on duty anymore, right? So I have to make sure I, I don't do that, right? And up here to the right is where I went for that nice little walk. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, that felt great, especially this morning. I think that was the the greatest amount of sweat that I have yet produced while walking. So I'm telling you guys, it really does feel great. It really, really does. Me and Jupax have been having quite a few uh, awesome conversations about... Uh, doing this together you know like if uh, one day I don't really feel like walking he encourage he encourages me to give him a call so he will encourage me to go for a walk or try to inspire me right and vice versa if he has a day where he doesn't feel like walking he wants me to be his inspiration right and I'm happy to do it I really am but here we go I know uh, we will probably be talking about that quite a bit, but you know, it's part of my life, right? It's part of my daily life. Whatever I do that day is what I talk about and what I show you guys, right? And so I really, really hope that uh, if, if you don't take anything else away from it is then other than a, an, an inspiration or at least a great video other than just driving down the road all the time. I know those videos were starting to get boring for me and myself, and I might be the best criti critic of my video myself, right? And so I know those ones weren't really the most interesting, just going down the road, never getting out of the truck, you know, they get boring after a while, right? So I knew I have to do something and why not integrate something like this going for a nice little walk showing you different things around the area you know i think that will be at least a change up for the video if if nothing else you know if you get nothing else out of it other than a great video i'm even happy with that but my goal is to lose a few pounds and inspire somebody else to get out there and, and start walking a little bit or exercising oh wow look at this as soon as we get onto the road we get a backup already <laughs> I know that this area is always getting a little bit of a backup as they got it down to one lane right so that's how it goes I'm already in Missouri ladies and gentlemen yeah we've been giving her pretty good and uh, pretty much been on the phone almost until now yep Shortly after I took off, I started getting phone calls and one after another, I wouldn't even finish talking to one person and already had another phone call and 
Oh yeah, been on the phone probably for the last four hours, but that's all right. And uh, during that time, I already got me a reload offer, and that's exactly what I suspected that I was gonna get. You guys guessed it, it's all of Branch, Mississippi. Yes, indeed. So, I guess we'll uh, hammer down, get on over there to Jackson first, deliver our load. I'm only uh, 84 miles away from getting there. I will probably make me a little bit of a pit stop. Because I've been going, right? Like for four or five hours already. Yeah, probably four and a half hours for sure. So it's time to make a pit stop and stretch her legs a little bit very, very soon, I think. That's my idea of it anyways. We just went through St. Louis, Missouri. That's right. Another beautiful, beautiful day out here. However, it's not quite as toasty hot as it was last week and the week before, I think. Right now, it's only 26 degrees Celsius, which is nice. Definitely nice. But at least it's not like last week. I think they had like 40 degrees Celsius up here, which is blazing hot. That's 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, indeed. So, let's get on over there and get our delivery off and then head on over into Olive Branch. And I'm going to see if I can stay there for the night tonight because... Uh, Last week, Wednesday, my cousin was trying to stay there for the night and they kicked him out. So I don't understand why they did that. Like even dispatch says we are allowed to park there from Monday to Thursday. Just not Friday because Friday they close at 11 I think. And they all go home for the weekend but all the other nights they're open all night long. So uh, I don't get it why they would have kicked him out. Because I stayed there twice already myself and I never got kicked out. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out tonight. I finally decided to pull into one of these rest areas and uh, get me a little bit of a break. Let's see if we can get around this truck. Looks like it's gonna be super, super tight. Yeah, he pulled forward a little bit too much. We just barely got past him, but yeah. Uh, I had to stretch my legs a little bit and whatever and so this is only five miles before the exit that I got to take to go to my customer here in Jackson, Missouri and I hadn't made me a pit stop yet today so uh, it was definitely time for me to go in here and uh, you know go for a little walk and take care of business as we like to call it before I get to the customers, so I don't have to go ask them for a bathroom or whatever. And so yeah, got all of that taken care of. So now we can go over there, get offloaded, and then hammer down over to uh, Olive Branch, Mississippi it is. Yes, indeed. This is going to be the end of, well, no more trash, right? If you're going to be throwing out some trash, it's a minimum $1,000 fine or in, in or a year in jail for littering. Oh my goodness, guys. I decided to uh, go ahead and pull into a uh, rest area here. Let me see if I can get this correctly here. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, my dispatcher could never find out whether or not I'm going to be able to park at the customer overnight. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, up to us to find out tonight. But I just uh, been wanting to pull into this rest area for a while already. They uh, got some really interesting things right here. And uh, are you guys ready? Let's see if we can get it on video. Here we go. I might have to go a little bit of a further distance to uh, really get it all, all the way on video. I'm gonna see if I can turn around and show you guys. There we go. I am not 100% sure exactly what this represents. There is actually another one out there. Let me uh, see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, there it is. 
There is definitely another one over there. And it is a fairly big rest area up here, as you guys can see. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, I've seen it here before, right? Because I've been going down here for a while. And uh, I just never had the opportunity really to go in and pull in over here. So the, today I said, you know what? I think I have enough time to pull in here and uh, show you guys this interesting place. I think it said it was the uh, Welcome Center from Missouri or something. So not 100% sure there is some sort of weird clouds up there a little bit. So I'm not sure if we uh, can expect to get some rain. We got a few interesting uh, flags over there. Maybe zoom in on them a little bit. Looks like three different flags, obviously the American and two other ones. I'm sure one of them is going to be uh, the Missouri flag. I'm not familiar with all of them, but uh, I'm sure that's what it is. They do have a very nice park over there where the kids can go in and play. And uh, it looks like a very, very nice rest area. So let me go show you the rest and see what it looks like. You guys see what I'm talking about? They got some weird... Uh, sort of poles over here and then uh, right over there they got the uh, kids playing area right there so that is really really neat very nice building they take really good care of the lawn over here and everything so yeah it's definitely a very very nice interesting place so I'm gonna go inside and see uh, if there's any kind of history on this thing and uh, I'll bring it to you guys if I find anything. Couldn't really find any kind of info on, uh, on this rest area, but they do have these uh, sort of sitting areas up here. And look at how they got that roof. It's actually a see-through roof if you're underneath it. And they got several of them up here. There is another one right there. Actually, two of them. You see them over there. And there's actually another one in that corner. And then you see the rest area, obviously, right there. And then you got a couple of more over here. So it's a very nice, nice rest area. Beautiful, beautiful big tree up there. And uh, kind of interesting looking tree up here as well. Maybe that one represents it a little bit better. Because that one looks similar to what this one looks like. Except because I guess I'm too much in the sun. It's not really one to show it properly, I guess. Let's go a little bit further to this side. So now you can really see a very very nice green tree that's for sure i love it i love seeing nice areas like this where you can really go and park in and uh really enjoy your kind of like a break or whatever you want to call it i see some birds sitting up there on the tree not sure exactly what kind they are oh look at that i'll probably be able to see it a little bit better later once I open it up in my computer, but uh, they definitely look to be a little different. I don't know what kind they are, but that's all right. Anyways, I just decided to go take my half an hour break. I figured out why, uh, why not show you guys around a little bit and show you what's around, right? Especially if it's an interesting place. I like to show you guys as much interesting places as I can at least lately i know i haven't really been that good in a while but you know why uh, why not start now right i'm wondering what kind of tree this really is i don't know if you guys know what kind of tree that is but definitely looks interesting that's for sure anyways i also just wanted to get a little bit more walking in as well and uh, it looks like there's a couple of rvs over there so I don't know if they have RV parking in that section, but uh, there's definitely a couple of them out there. Oh boy, I got me a good uh, walking around this rest area up here. I actually did a little bit of jo jogging as well. And uh, yeah, I think I got my steps in for today. I got over 8,000 steps in for today. So I think that's pretty good in my opinion. As you guys can see, this is a fairly big uh, rest area up here. And uh, I walked this around about three times around this whole parking lot. 
and did a little bit of jogging on top of it so uh, I was even debating on flying my drone here a little bit but then if you look up there to the right there's a few buildings up there and that is actually a small airport up there I'm like uh, no we're not gonna be doing any kind of flying up here that ain't happening so uh, yeah fortunately we couldn't do that but I worked up a good sweat running around here a little bit walking around and all that stuff so uh, but I do feel like I am slowly getting better in shape I can already tell that uh, I'm able to jog a little bit better than I was a few days ago you know but we got about a hundred and forty miles to go until we get to our customer and uh, I'm very very curious as of right now still on whether or not I'm gonna be able to park at the customer but if not I guess we'll have to figure something else out but uh, there is actually a little bit of a river up here to the left what you can't see but it is you know it is up there about a mile up uh, I guess further south but uh, that's one thing that I was looking at and that's why I wanted to really fly up here with my drone but oh well maybe next time maybe next time I am exactly about one hour away from getting to my customer and that sun is wanting to go down over there toward the right of us yeah it's just above the tree lines right now so here probably in the next 20 minutes that sun will disappear on us yes indeed it will oh well such is life right every day it goes down and it usually comes up the next morning Sometimes we get a chance to see it, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's cloudy, sometimes we get rain, sometimes we have a nice clear day. We actually get to see the sun, right? But right now we see clouds ahead of us, but there is hardly any clouds towards the right of me there, which is kind of off the camera, you can't really see it. But I do see the sun over there. I don't know if you guys can even see the sun, I doubt it but it is there and uh, yeah so we're just cruising down the road here just relaxing after that nice little walk we did earlier <laughs> and jogging and all that but that felt good it really does feel good I'm really really trying very hard to eat less and all of that and it's amazing how it works on you right Especially if you're stressed out a little bit tensed up and this and that after you do a good workout like that I guarantee you all of your stress is most likely going to disappear and you're going to feel much better I don't know what it is about working out like that or you know it just seems like it makes you feel better all the way around mentally physically everything yes indeed it does but Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go on into the customer and uh, we'll find out if we can park there tonight. I'm really super curious. That's it, guys. I am done for today. Yes, indeed, I am. I made it all the way up to Olive Branch and uh, my load was ready, surprisingly enough. And I asked the shipping guy if I'm allowed to park here and he said, yeah, no problem. So I don't know what happened last week. Uh, with my cousin maybe he didn't ask or what but uh, I have no problem parking here so anyways just finished sending all my paperwork off to dispatch so they can work on setting me up for the border crossing now I gotta open up that bad boy over there and uh, schedule my video for tomorrow otherwise you guys have no video to watch tomorrow right without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and do all that good stuff and give me a good night's sleep I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So we'll see you then.